music is the emotional heart of a film or live show, and composer Dupriya Strauss has toured the world, providing that heart. After crossing so many frontiers, he's back in SA, adding Joburg to the places he calls home. I grew up in a small town called Bloemfontein in South Africa. I've composed a lot of music for TV soundtracks and I've been associate music director and orchestra conductor on Disney's The Lion King musical for the past 14 years. In between, I've also created my own reality show. I've done four seasons by now and numerous other visual arts projects. It all feels like it's, you know, rolled into one artwork that is my life. So when the time came for me to find a foothold in South Africa, a place to call my own, which I haven't had in all of my adult life, all these years that I spent in the best hotels and corporate accommodation, service departments, the most beautiful stuff around the world, I made mental notes of what suits me the best. And I feel like when I saw this space for the first time, I knew exactly what I wanted to do with it so that it would fit me perfectly like a glove. Having studied orchestral conducting at Juilliard Music School, Dupriya now adds interior design to his forms of creative expression. So the artwork that I've spent most of my time and money on lately is the sky cave that I created for myself. When I found it, it was so ugly. It was filled with inside walls and I knew I had to knock everything out because I wanted one big open concrete space and I knew I wanted it all in black because that means the space almost vanishes into the background and all of your attention is drawn to that view. The Joburg skyline is the real big screen TV. And after living in eight different countries, it's little wonder this artist hankered for home. It was very important to me that you would be able to see that magnificent view from literally anywhere in the apartment. And when I created these solid concrete counters, I made them go steps down from back here all the way down to the balcony. Because I wanted this space as minimal as possible, I opted for open shelved concrete kitchen counters where nothing needs to be concealed because I own so very little and it could be seen from anywhere. Well, because it all matches the color scheme, including my exposed piping. I didn't want to hide plumbing or electrical pipes. They're all beautifully painted black, but in full view. Even though everything is black, down to my toothbrush, my soap, my cutlery, everything. There's one splash of color that I always keep in this place. And this is this bowl of fresh produce from our family farm in the Northern Free State. The strangest stuff that tastes so delicious. My friends from the city can't believe what's actually happening in this part of my flat. As a composer, all the color, art and life is already in Dupree's mind. So having stark surrounds draws out his imagination. Moving through the bathroom area, there's a kind of like a dressing open plan area near my closet. And the bed area is probably my favorite part of the whole place. These are custom made locker type of vibe bedside tables. And I was very sure that I'd never wanted to see anything charge, no cable, no nothing. So all the cables come in from the back and everything I can charge, charges inside with one little outlet here, you know, for when I want to stick my phone in and maybe charge while lying in bed. In the lounge, you'll see the continuation of the locker type of style coffee table. I've added little silver and chrome elements, not because I wanted to break the black, but because you can't really get away with no silver or no glass. What I love about the silver is the trimmings on these chairs. Because they find themselves in a black space, they reflect the blackness of everything else, which creates a beautiful texture that can play along with other textures like the very plush throw, the love lovely texture on the old worn leather matching and contrasting the texturing of the walls. The apartment takes its cue from a theater where everything is black except for the story playing out center stage. 
It's very important to me to have a multifunctional space, a space where I can live in and play in and create in. So this center concrete piece can be a dinner table, but can also be converted into what I have here, a type of recording studio setup. And this is also where I practice piano for my piano concert performances. As cribs go, the House of Strauss is fast becoming party central for fellow artists like Tamara Day. Dupree and I uh, have known each other for many years now. We have mutual friends. We're both in the music industry. We share very similar taste when it comes to music, fashion, beautiful spaces, good people. We've recently started making some beautiful music together. While I'm DJing melodic techno, Dupree is on the keys. As you know, he's such a phenomenal player. It's just a match made in heaven musically. And we've got some plans to do some very cool live performances. We have a grand master plan. We all thought it was a bit crazy, but then when we saw the project coming together, it was really nice and we're all excited to be here tonight and see the final product. So it actually came out really nice and we're all very excited to see him live here and make a living. This is a dream come true for me as an entertainer to have a space of my very own where other entertainers and creators also want to come and play along. This place is very new, so this is the first time ever that I'm having a live performance here, but I've got such plans. Grand pianos out on the balcony, more and different artists coming and playing here together. I can't wait. I have poured every part of myself into creating this space, so it suits me like a glove. And you know, day or night, rain or shine, winter or summer, this view is just something that you can never grow tired of. From a trailblazer in musical theater, we meet another South African breaking new ground in the move to a zero-waste economy right after this.